A key debate on terrorism had MEPs warning against repeating the mistakes of 9-11. Could new legislation such as passenger name record really be the difference to help secure Europe's borders? It's time to find out. Welcome to the agenda. The director of Europol warned last week of further attacks being conducted on EU soil. Could greater powers for them help combat the growing threat? In the days after the attacks, EU Justice and Home Affairs Ministers agreed to upgrade Europol's counter-terrorism capabilities. A new counter-terrorism centre will also be launched in the new year to help member states better coordinate and share information. A vote in the Civil Liberties Committee to confirm Europol's new powers takes place on Monday. Before the year's close, MEPs want to push to finalise the once controversial EU-wide passenger name record, but privacy issues still need to be sorted out. Negotiations are currently ongoing with member states, but passenger name record is being held up by the finalisation of data protection reform. Once that's done, privacy afforded under PNR can be sorted. Follow the debate on Monday. Has public empathy for the plight of refugees weakened? At the Strasbourg plenary, MEPs underline the need to stand united with refugees who are themselves victims of terrorism. A second busy day for Parliament's Civil Liberties Committee, who will discuss migration legislation proposals, especially the relocation mechanism and designated safe third countries for refugees. And now time to see what's coming up at the Mini Plenary in Brussels on Wednesday. Turning waste into a resource. Could recycling or refurbishing goods and materials be the key to increasing jobs and growth? Find out more when MEPs discuss the Commission's presentation of the Circular Economy Package. And also look out for a debate on the current situation in Hungary. Is it upholding EU values of democracy, rule of law and human rights? And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.